My name is Dion Sabata. I am a senior lecturer at the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering Science at the University of Johannesburg. I've taught subjects like control and microprocessors and programming and things like that to my students. And the ventilator is a nice project to work on because it combines all these aspects. Um, there are a lot of control sort of requirements. Um, controlling things like pressure and, and airflow. Um, everything is obviously built on microcontrollers and there's a lot of programming going on in the background. So the project sort of neatly fit into my, my skill set. The idea of creating an open source ventilator is to be able to share some ideas and, and novel concepts with the rest of the world out there and maybe come up with alternative solutions to problems that the medical industry may have been facing or solving one way. Looking for alternative solutions that can maybe encourage thinking in the larger community um, and hopefully address the shortages in, in future epidemics. Medical ventilators are very complex devices and require skilled people to use. Uh, a lot of the designs that we're seeing online at the moment are just squeezing a bag and it's actually a lot more complex than that. Trained medics that use these sorts of bags in ambulances and out in the field go through months of training to be able to use it without injuring the patient and actually causing more harm than good. So one of the challenges or some of the challenges that we face when building these things is to ensure that through using the ventilator we actually manage to improve the patient's well-being and that our cure isn't actually in fact worse than the disease. As we've seen there's, there's a large shortage of ventilators even in the developed world um, mostly because of the fact that we didn't anticipate this disease to firstly require ventilators and then to spread as fast as it has. Um, the number of people that are, are dying from this pandemic is sort of a, an indication of the, the severity of it and we just haven't really been able to, to ramp up the market. You know, before we, we went into this, medical ventilators were a reasonably small field and there just weren't that many necessary. So people didn't build them because they were expensive, they're complex, they're, they're difficult to look after and maintain. And we just, didn't, we just didn't have enough, we didn't expect it. And I think this is, is sort of brought to the front by the fact that you see lots of these open source ventilators appearing around the world at the moment. Lots of people are trying to address this concern um, potentially without the necessary background and just trying to solve problems or trying to make things better. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.